Hello there. So the version 4.5 is upon us along with Jiori's release. But this video is not about Jiori. I mean it is, but it's more of a thoughts and discussion video about Jiori and Jiro as a whole. Before we get started though, I just want to say that I'm probably going to be talking about things less from a player perspective, but more in line with the perspective of game design. Some of the stuff I say might sound subjective rather than objective, and rightfully so, because this is that kind of a video. And if you feel like what I'm saying is subjective, then perhaps that is because it probably is subjective to an extent, which is something I won't deny. Regardless, my main motive is to not push my feelings and opinions, but rather talk about Jiori and Geo from a game design standpoint. Lastly, some of the stuff in this video does mention information that is in the leaked territory, so feel free to click out the video if you do not wish to indulge. The combat system in Genshin is inherently designed to revolve around reactions sometimes directly by making them the main source of your damage, while other times not so directly by increasing your main source of damage instead of fulfilling the rule themselves. As such, all elements possess multiple reactions. Pyro has Vape, Melt, Overload, Burning, Burgeon, Hydro has Electrocharged, Freeze, Blue, Vape and so on, except for two elements, Animo and Geo, both of which have only one reaction that gives different results based on which of the four primary elements Pyro, Hydro, Electro and Cryo the reaction triggers with. So in retrospect, one might say that Animo and Geo are pretty similar in a way. However, it is the reaction itself and its properties which make Animo and Geo pretty much polar opposites. Don't get me wrong, this is a wonderful design. I like it very much that two things of the core elemental system have a similar foundation, yet intended for such different roles by taking such distinct places in the combat system. Both do just one reaction. The reaction only works with the four primary elements, Pyro, Hydro, Electro and Cryo. Both give you a different variation of that reaction depending upon what element aids you in triggering it. But on the other hand, one encourages the use of reactions while also simultaneously increasing their effectiveness in combat, while the other is just there. It does not aid in reaction, but rather eats up your elemental aura. It just does not do anything in combat other than giving you a weak shield which, outside of some niche cases, is really only there to fulfill the mechanics for other parts of the game. Why is that? Geo does not, or I probably ought to say, should not need reactions. It is rather apparent that the foundation of Geo is to have its own different outlook on combat. Think of it as an entirely distinct style of combat as opposed to the other elements within the game. And honestly, it is a healthy and good game design. However, despite the great idea behind Geo, somewhere along the way, they failed to execute it properly and left the game with no Geo units to be had for 2 years. Geo is bad not because it does not do reactions. Geo is bad because it fulfilled one part of the equation where it does not work in a reaction based combat with other elements, but it failed to fulfill the other which is to create its own identity. Geo needs its own team archetypes. As of making this video, the only real Mono Geo team we have is a hyper carry team where you either have Noel or Ito as your carry and for the supports you don't even have options. You just have to have Goro and for the other two slots there are virtually no options. All you have is Albedo, just one unit, which if you do not have then all you are left with are to be blunt underwhelming units like the Geo Traveler or units that don't have that great of a synergy like Yunjin or Ningguang. And that is just scarcity within the first 3 team slots. This should not happen. 5 characters of each of the other elements can mix and match with each other to create tons of teams. But 5 units won't work for an element like Geo which wants to work in mono teams. I am not saying we need to have 4 times as much Geo units as other elements. I am just saying that right now there is nothing. When a route such as this is taken for an element that it also needs to have units regularly pushed for it, not releasing any for 2 years will obviously severely limit the possibilities. It's not even funny when you realize that Hydro, an element which is the best in the reaction meta enabling so many different reactions and teams, has more and arguably better options for a mono team than Geo does, which is just disappointing for an element that is supposed to be mono. 
On top of the lack of units, Geo does not have archetypes at all. It's just hyper carry teams, like I mentioned earlier. That is not good for Geo either. It needs more units with different playstyles. There is nobody in the Geo roster that can do a quick swap playstyle when we should have had units to be able to make a quick swap mono Geo team that plays differently than just the same old hyper carry. Now Navia does have a quick swap playstyle, but it's not for mono Geo. And I will talk about Navia as well as Shiori later in this video, so just stick with me for now. Another thing that Geo could do is constructs. That's actually very cool and a unique thing that Geo has. But it is just forgotten. Constructs just suck. They break so easily against bosses, they don't provide anything really useful for the most part either. They are just a pain to play with. The constructs need to be fixed and they need to have more use than just resonating with jungle pillar and dealing non-existent damage. They can do a lot of things with Geo if they are creative enough. In order for Geo to be good, it needs more team archetypes, some unique things to it and more than just one unit as an option for those teams. As of right now, Geo is not what it needs to be. With what Mono Geo is right now, it is really just a different colored physical team. There is just a lot of overlap. Physical is the thing you play if you do not want reactions, which is also good for the game to have such an area. But the current Mono Geo teams are also fulfilling the exact same role. There is no unique identity to this element whatsoever. People want reactions, but trust me, that is not the identity of this element. It will be just another reaction and grow old in a week. Geo needs a lot of things to be both changed and added to it for it to become the thing that is able to embody the idea behind this element. Some of you might be hurt about it, but Navia is not a real Geo unit. She does not work with Geo, but she works with other elements. She wants you to trigger reactions. She wants you to use supports of the reaction based teams. When she was about to be released, people all over the community asked the same questions. Will Navia save Geo? The answer is no. On the contrary, she escaped Geo because she is in a way better state than she would be if she did not escape this prison called Geo. And yes, I said Geo is really is a prison of sorts for units right now. Not because of a unit themselves being bad, but Geo just having nothing to make those units shine. Navia is an excellent unit, but she is not really Geo. She goes pretty much against the whole concept of Geo. But don't get upset because I said Navia is not a real Geo. As much as that is true, it is not a negative for Navia. If anything, it is a positive given how terrible the conditions are with Geo. The other new Geo unit about to go live in a week as of making this video, Geori is very much a real Geo. Before we talk about her, I will say that if you wanna go for Chiori, don't let my thoughts get in the way of that. She is very much on the stronger side of the units. You will not have issues in regards to her power level. My thoughts on her are just very mixed, but that has nothing to do with her strength again. I am talking from game design side of things, so rest assured and pull her if you want. Now I won't explain her kit in detail, you all probably saw it on the live stream. So Chiori wants you to have a construct and you pretty much double her output, not exactly, but considering that the skill is the important part of her kit and you are essentially doubling its damage by having a construct on the team, this part of his kit is something I'm personally a big fan of, incorporating geo constructs into gameplay, yes please. But the part that I do not like is it is limited to just one construct and her kit as a whole really just feels like the newer albedo of field damage and a burst that does one time damage. This is so very not creative at all which I dislike. Secondly, the construct increases Chiori's damage, so in a way it is a step in the right direction. However, at the same time it doesn't really incorporate the constructs into combat. Chiori just really feels like an albedo replacement or a fourth slot for the Ito Mono Geo team. Now don't get me wrong. More options for Geo is something that the element needs, so I appreciate that even though it does not inherently change the Geo combat or add something new, which is my second gripe with her kit. But it is still acceptable because again, more options for the same team is also a welcome addition. But my biggest problem is that 
her C1 removes the geo construct requirement, then it just makes you question if they really wanted to make the step in the right direction with the involvement of a geo construct, or the goal was to merely create a cash grab opportunity by making a unit for teams that have a construct, and if you want to make full use of said unit outside of that, then go for the C1. That's just how it feels to me. Maybe it is just me, but I really just feel like there is little to no intention of actually having GOB better as an element by introducing new mechanics with constructs. Don't get me wrong, the requirement of a construct is fine. It's the C1 that pisses me off. Although I am very sure that I am in the minority about this one, people for the most part will just hate the construct requirement. And rightfully so, because when I say the requirement is good, I am assuming that moving forward they will make more geo units with constructs and units that have synergy with said constructs. If they do not follow up on this, then this is very much a cash grab like a certain someone's C1. Instead of being the initial piece of a strong follow up that can give geo something new. If I had to design Chiori Skate, I would not make any constellations that let you not have constructs in the team. I would make it so you need the constructs no matter what, and I would not make a kit with just one construct giving more damage to Chiori. I'd either make Chiori a carry as well who gets big buffs for herself or a sub DPS that gives buffs to the team, depending upon the number of constructs you have. For example, one construct is a bit more damage. 2 constructs increase all party members defense, 3 constructs gives you a big geo damage buff. I am talking about making the buffs strong enough that we, players, use geo traveler and jungle in every team with Chiori and despite them not having much value themselves, Chiori's buffs would be good enough to have them in the team and destroy the content. It would be awesome if Zhongli Oven team is not just a meme but something that hacking slaps and this is just one thing you can do. There is also the possibility of creating units that have constructs which do not count towards the global limit or those that also enable resonating like Zhongli and deal a lot of damage with better AoE if you have multiple constructs or someone that is a quick swap like Navia but instead of shooting after collecting crystallized shards, their main source of damage is significantly increased if constructs are present, kinda like Riotan's Resolve. I would definitely pull for new, unique and fun units like that who can bring new teams for Geo. And these are just constructs, you could also do other things too, like what I mentioned previously in the way a quick swap playstyle team. Mono Geo does not need to be a Ito and Noel hyper carry, it can be a lot more than that. It just does not need reactions to be cool and good in combat, it needs its own archetypes and new units for those archetypes. We just have nothing for it right now which is why it sucks. Anyways, that will be all from my side. Similar to how I mentioned in the beginning, if some parts of this felt subjective then perhaps that is because to an extent they might be. If you disagree then that is completely fine, we don't have to fight over it in the comments. Just leave your thoughts in the comments, I will make sure to read them because I always read my comments. Primarily because I don't get that many so it's pretty easy to keep up. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this little show then like and subscribe. See you next time.